Today on Engineering Newswire, we're upgrading our phones with a new smartphone case, testing the limits of a flying car, and shedding weight from the Army's machine gun. engineers redesigned and lightened the M249 machine gun, taking it down from 17.5 to 9.2 pounds. The M249, formerly known as the Squad Automatic Weapon, has even taken a different name, the Case Telescope Light Machine Gun, or CTLMG. According to Corey Phillips, a project engineer from the Joint Service Small Arms Program, no new exotic metals were used to lighten the weapon. Instead, components were just machined down in size. Engineers also rearranged parts of the gun, the most extreme change being the detachment of the firing chamber from the barrel. The new external firing chamber keeps the gun cooler and reduces the likelihood of rounds cooking off on the chamber. Engineers have designed new rounds for the gun that are cased in a plastic-like substance to replace the brass cartridges currently in use. This change would reduce ammo weight by 39%. According to Phillips, soldiers at Fort Benning, Georgia test fired the CTLMG and the lighter machine gun achieved 25% more first round target hits than the model currently in use. Despite its improved accuracy, the lighter model is still in the development phase with another round of testing to begin in the fall. Last week Friday, Aeromobile took to the roads and to the skies with its flying car prototype, the Aeromobile 3.0. However, during the test flight, the inventor and test pilot, Stefan Klein, had to activate the ballistic parachute system after encountering what is being described as an unexpected situation. Thankfully, Klein was able to make a safe landing after deploying the parachute system at an altitude of approximately 900 feet. In a press release, the company explains that, in the process of developing new vehicles, especially in the prototype phase, the possibility and likelihood of an unexpected situation is a natural part of the testing program. They describe the testing as a learning period during which they will be able to detect and refine the design, adding that it is necessary to test the prototype in every way possible to establish its limits and to improve on them. The company will use information gathered from the failed flight in order to improve the performance of the vehicle before the next flight test. Testing and product development will continue after the damaged parts are replaced. So I guess we won't be seeing flying cars on the road or in the sky anytime soon. Ever think what a waste it is to upgrade your entire phone just so you can get a better camera and maybe a few other bells and whistles? You're not the only one. Building on the idea behind Google's Project Ara, NextPack envisions a smartphone case made of interchangeable components so that users can add new functionality to their mobile device without purchasing a whole new phone. NextPack hits the market with a total of 12 available components, which include a laser, additional battery power, an amplified speaker, and even a breathalyzer, among others. The modules in the case sync with an app, and NextPack says that all modules are interchangeable between Android and iOS. Should a user happen to switch phones, like say from an iPhone 6 to a Samsung S6, NextPack says that all you'll have to do is invest in a new case and all your purchase modules are still compatible. The company will release an open developers kit and promises more new modules in the near future. NextPack has already raised 137,000 on Kickstarter, roughly 87,000 more than its original goal of 50,000. Those that pledge $99 or more can get a starter kit, which includes a speaker, battery, hotkey, and SD card reader. Do you have story ideas? Comment below and we'll cover them in an upcoming episode. For the PDND channel, I'm Kaylee Duffy, and this has been your Engineering Newswire.